It is rare that a day goes by without a package delivery from Temu to this home in the western suburbs. But you see all this stuff? The family is not ordering any of it. Now stuck with random stuff and those boxes filling their space and no one left to turn to. They asked CBS 2's Tara Molina for help. She is pushing for answers about the nonstop stream of packages and a story you'll see only on 2. This living room is filled with stuff, and that's really the best way to describe it because there's no rhyme or reason to what's being delivered here. Everything from hats and clothing to knives and toys. The issue, what do they do with all of this, and how does this family get these drop-offs to stop? This is my hat collection here, and I got, I don't know, 20 different kind of military hats. The vest, I think. Tim Wood giving me a tour of his space. It's a crawfish trap filled with stuff that's not his. I kind of like this belt. It's a car belt. He says the stream of package deliveries started shortly after his family purchased a condo in this Oak Brook Terrace complex. We have about 30 fishing vests. But the stream has turned into more of a rapid river. In the last month, it's been one or two packages a day. And what he admits was kind of entertaining at first. You know, it's like Christmas every day. Not so Christmas spirited anymore. It's just too much stuff now. He says it's not clear where some of this came from. It's all Chinese. Ooh, ooh, but says it's clear some of it is from Temu. None of it says has a return address of Temu on it. He says they've tried everything to make it stop first reaching the family they bought the home from. I reached out to my real estate agent who reached out to their real estate agent. No response from their real estate agent or attorney. He says he's learned they moved out of the country. No response from Temu or delivery companies either. I feel like I've done as much as I can do. I reached Temu. Their media team suggests Tim reach them with tracking numbers and they'll investigate. They didn't address our questions. Just runs the gamut. And that's as keeping this living room clean becomes harder and harder. Tim told me he's asked about the legal implications if they're liable for all of this, and he's been told he should try to reach the person this is meant for. He's done that. We asked too. And they can open up. This is Katherine Baker. She teaches contract law at Chicago Kent College of Law. It is not the responsibility of the receiver to figure out where this came from. And since the family has made some effort to reach the person this is being shipped to. At some point, they can just discard it. Nice outfit, huh? Tim Wood says he'd rather donate it than discard it. But standing in a home that looks more like a knickknack store, his hope? Figure out a way to get it to stop. I followed up with Temu a couple times now. They still haven't responded to any of our follow-up questions, but we'll continue to check in with them on this. The Wood family is hoping speaking out ultimately helps them and anyone else who may be dealing with something like this. Reporting in the western suburbs, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.